Welcome FOR360 students to FVS. We are going to use our spruce fir pine stand data and compare several thinning options with an end date of 2062. We are going to begin under the Manage Projects area and we are going to give it a new project title spruce fir pine and make new project. I've already done so so I'm going to make that go away and move on to import input data. I will then browse for the input file which is available to you through Brightspace and I will locate that, click once to select and open. With that done I will install the uploaded database. Uploaded database installed. Now on to simulate. Click on all stands, S1, add selected stands. Next select time and we're going to set this to 2062. Keeping it in 10 year intervals. Components we will use later. Outputs, check on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Run, save and run. This is our base model. Let's visualize. Select run, run 1. Select image, inventory conditions. This looks about right, and for comparison, run 1, select image, end of projection, 2062. We can zoom in and out using our scroll wheel, click hold drag to explore. And I can use my snipping tool here to click hold drag a box around the image and then paste that into a Word document. Returning to our main page, simulate. SPS main output file. Open. Scroll down to summary statistics and copy the saw log board feet at the end of the run. 1864, 1864 board feet. Control C to copy. Next, build yourself a spreadsheet like this one where you have columns for run, the description of the run, saw log board feet in 2062. Paste that in and you'll have harvest removals in the later runs. Now let's duplicate this and create a thinning. That takes us right to components and categories, thinning and pruning operations, components thin from below. To start out, let's specify a 400 trees per acre residual density. And now remember to hit save in run, thin from below. If you need to change this, you can select it and edit or cut and delete. For now, cancel and run with the bold and asterisks indicating changes have been made. A002, save and run. There we see our thinning and growth following the thinning. FVS main output file, open, and scroll down to the summary table. And you'll see we have 408 trees removed, 222 merchantable cubic feet, and no saw log cubic feet removed. I'm going to copy our 1797 saw log board feet, copy, and move my book to over here. You'll see I've updated this to first entry pulp, first entry saw log, second entry pulp, and second entry saw log. So saw log board feet in 2062 is 1797. This was run A002, and this was thin from below to 400 TPA in 2022. And our first entry pulp, that was 222 merchantable cubic feet, so 222. That came from right here under removals. Now let's try something else. Duplicate. And now run 1, parentheses 2, take our thin from below, let's edit that, and let's change that to a trees per acre 500 residual, and save and run. Now let's run that and see what the difference is. Save and run. Compare this removal and growth following, and let's look at the FVS main output file, open the text, here we have 308 trees removed with 64 merchantable cubic feet, 
And our endpoint is 1848, 1848 saw log board feet in 2062. We'll enter that in as A003. Then from below to 500 TPA in 2022. There's that. And we had 64 cubic feet of pulp. Let's try something else. Duplicate. Select thin from below. Edit. Let's go back to 400 trees per acre. Save and run. Copy. Paste item selected below. Edit. And now let's change this to 2042 and take this down to 250 trees per acre. Save and run. Run. Save and run. Isn't that interesting? FES main output file. Open. Here's our output file. We have 222 cubic feet coming out in 2022 and 357 in 2042. And we have 1,792 saw log board feet, and we'll copy that. After entering A004 into my spreadsheet with 222 cubic feet removed in 2022 and 357 in 2042, let's go back and try something else. Let's duplicate and adjust our first thinning, edit, and try that at 500 trees per acre. Save and run, run, save and run. Let's look at our FES main output file, open. It looks like we've decreased our thinning yield in the first entry and increased it in the second. Let's go ahead and get that entered into our spreadsheet. Now let's try one more thing. We'll duplicate that run and adjust our second thinning, edit. We'll change that to 350 trees per acre. Save and run, run, Save and run. Let's look at the main output file. Open. Now something's clearly not right here. Our top height has been 50 all the way through. Let's take a look into our tree list and see if we can find out what's happening. Enter View Outputs, Load, Run 1, 5, our most recent one. Database tables to consider, all the way down, FES Tree List East, and Explore. Let's start with our inventory conditions, year 2021, select all and deselect all, and let's say species, year, dbh, height. And let's add tree ID so we can see what's going on. Tree ID number one, ABBA, ABS balsamea, dbh seven, height 47. Let's look at 2062. We have ABBA, tree ID 1, DBH 7.8, height 47.41. 47, 47.41. Something's not quite right, is it? Here we have tree ID 23, 16.84, and tree 23, 14.2, height 80 feet, and that same tree, number 23, 80.41. Something is definitely off. Looking back to the input data, a site index of 8 means that the last time I was working on this data set, I was using the Acadian variant of FES, which takes site index in metric. Let's put that in feet and give it a nice healthy 60. Now let's save this, close, back to FES, manage projects, we'll call this SI60, make new project, and let's go ahead to simulate. Now I'm going to hit new, that will be run number 5, all stands, S1, add selected stands. Now let's try this again with a stand that is actually allowed to grow. Let's go to time and make sure we have 2062, and components, categories, thinning and pruning operations, components thin from below, and we'll go to 500 trees per acre in 2022, save and run. Let's do another one, thin from below, in the year 2042, and we'll go to 350 trees per acre, save and run, 
run, save and run. Ah, that's just a little bit nicer, isn't it? Let's download that main output file, open that up, and scroll down and see we are doing just a little bit better on our saw log board feet at the end. So that was a great example of a computer program doing exactly what I told it to do. I gave it a site index value of 8, meaning at the age of 50, the trees should have been 8 feet tall. That means the tree should not grow very much at all over the course of its life because the site is terrible. This is growing in Shrek's swamp. So here's top height 50 growing to top height 83. Saw log board feet up here. And that shows the importance of site index to the FVS input. Now let's visualize the difference. So select run number one. And let's select run number one three, which was a thinning operation. And we'll look at that at the end of the projection. And now let's look at run number six and end of projection as well. That's just a bit more optimistic now, isn't it? Now for your assignment, I want you to take six different types of thinning. You can try from below, from above, different intensities. Produce an output table like this and a brief write-up of what you think the worst and the best treatment is and why. Be sure to include a base model for reference and you may argue for that being the best or the worst. Your description of the best and the worst should include both SVS images, the visualizations, and the graphs here. You may right-click and save picture as, or use the snipping tool here. Click, hold, drag, release, and paste into a Word document. 